First of all, there is a secret I have to inform you about. In fact, Manal does not like to drive. No. <laughs> <laughs> she just does it being courageous. Uh, Manal, Saudi Arabia. Yes. What is your hope for your home country for the next year? There's a lot of change going on in Saudi yes. Arabia at the moment. What do you expect? What do you believe can happen? What is your hope? So with all the changes in 2017 in Saudi Arabia, we discovered oil in 1935. They say they discovered women in 2017, last year. If you look at the global GAAP index, you find Saudi Arabia is number 100, I think, 42. And we only have three countries under Saudi Arabia in the global GAAP index. Uh, Syria, Yemen, and, um, and Pakistan. And all these countries had women in politics, even prime ministers. My hope is we make it, and I know we have the potential in Saudi Arabia, to make it to the top 10 in that global GAAP index in very few years. Is, um, you know, writing a book about everything that you experienced and about your life yes. is, um, has been identified during today's work to be in a strategy to encourage young people. Why yes. did you very personally write this book and tell your story? As a Saudi woman, as I said, we grow up in a very conservative society, and women don't use their voice. When I did the video, why it was a huge thing, because I used my face and my voice and my real name, and that was very rebellious. Writing my story, it was one time while I was campaigning, my son came home and he was beating in the school. Later on, I knew he was beating because he was my son. I took the decision that day, I will document everything for him. So when he grows up, he was only six. When he grows up, I'm going to give him the book. And I'm going to say, this is your mom's story. No one will tell you her story. She will tell you her story. Manal, Academia Superior is a think tank having the aim to um, develop recommendations for politicians. Um, from all your story and everything what you told us and your experience in your life, is there, let's say, a short strategy we could give to these guys over there? to keep young people as courageous as you are here in Upper Austria or in Austria? Do you have an idea about how, what could we tell them would be a strategy? I think the most courageous thing I did in my life wasn't driving a car or working in an all-male environment for 10 years as an engineer. It was really being myself. And it's very important to tell people to be who they are, to speak up their mind, and not be afraid to be judged because everyone is individual and everyone is unique. And that's, the, I think, the most courageous thing to know who you are before the world told you who you should be. And this goes for everyone. And also trust your guts. When it feels right, it's right. I, I wrote to my son in the book, question the rules, question the rules, never yourself. When it feels wrong, because it's wrong. You today. <laughs> Thank you. Today, during the day, you several times used the comparison, your very personal one, and I never heard this kind of comparison before, and I will use it from today on, the difference between fear yes, and, and courage. courage. Can you just repeat that for the audience? Oh, it was Winston Churchill. Oh, okay. Quote, we use I him. Love. I, I love his quotes. He has two quotes that I live by. One of them, he says, never, never, never give up. And the other one he says, fear is a reaction, but courage is a decision. Whether it's from Winston Churchill or from Manal al-Sharif, <laughs> fear is a reaction, courage is, is a, a decision. decision. It is. Thank you very much. Thank this you. is all your applause. Thank you very much Thank for coming. You.